just gonna see if Frank's got any. Frank, how are you doing? Hi, I'm very well, thank you. Well then, Gareth, thank Gareth, you for waiting brilliant. patiently. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, we just before we say goodbye to Gareth, um, Frank, have you got any good? Music related movies, what would you say? Name me at least I, one. I, I would say, and I've just been prompted because I wasn't expecting the question by Annie, my wife, once. Yes! Once came out in 2000. Well, I've written down. Fabulous, fabulous song called Falling Slowly. Yeah. Which, yeah. which I've done in. Because it's a duet, uh, Man and the Woman duet, and I've sung it with my sister, which is a bit dodgy sometimes, you know. Well, anyway, we won't go there. Uh, I've also performed it with my with my granddaughter in, in the Eagle, Marcus. Uh, yeah. uh, which is, is even dodgier, really. But anyway, we won't go there either. It's, it's um, got, <laughs> we didn't want to pick up on that, but yeah, it's, it is a, a lovely song. At least it's a nice sounding song, and um, I'm sure you perform it very well. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Another couple of classic movies for you to go watch. And remember, if you've got any, you'd like to hear about those actually in the feed. So do comment on there and let us know. For now, Gareth, thank you very much. Thanks a million, and a uh, uh, nice one. I'll see you later, and nice to meet you, Frank. Okay, cheers, mate. Thank you. Well done. So we've got Frank now on the screen, um, and uh, thank you again for for waiting patiently. Uh, Frank, you're you're a, a music veteran. I'm really pleased to get you on the show. Now, I first saw you. I uh, must have run into you at the the Willows Folk Club in Arundel, um, which is obviously where we both actually still live. Um, yeah. Many moons ago. Yeah. I guess you were what 15. Marcus? Must have been, yeah, must have been about 15, 16. And you were doing a great job. Again, bringing musicians together. So a little bit of inspiration. You, you you, kind of inspired me to do something similar with these open mics. Well, well, that would be a nice thought, but I'm sure you're giving me too much credit. We ran the club as a committee and your dad was on the committee. Your well, dad that didn't... is true. That is true. Yep. Um, and uh, the Willows Folk Club, obviously, you know, still needs a bit of support. I'm sure they'll be starting up again soon. Um, but yep. um, uh, and also remember from some of the performances that I did there that you were kind enough to lend me your Martin guitar because mine, I think, maybe strings are broken or something. Um, and uh, ever since then, at my open mics, I've had people wanting to play mine, and I've been quite willing to let them play because I remember playing on that guitar and just thinking, oh my God, this is what a guitar should sound like. <laughs> um, so I'll never forget that, Frank. So thank you very much oh, for your kind oh. generosity to let me play on your prize Martin That's guitar. It never is, forgotten it. it. It is sometimes a scary thing, lending your guitar, especially when it's one as special as, a, as my Martin. Look, that, that guitar was made in 1973. <laughs> um, so it's a it's a real veteran. It shows its age and some like, plenty of knocks on it, and uh, yeah, and and a couple of times I've lent it to people and they've added knocks to it. So it's a bit of a scary <laughs> thing, but I think it's a necessary. Uh, after all, it's only a few bits of wood and, and wire, isn't it? Well, that's true. I mean, so long as they don't break the thing. I mean, I remember handing mine to somebody once, quite happily letting them play, but he didn't have any plectrums. I didn't realise this. So he's playing with his fingers. Um, when he gave me the guitar back, I noticed his hand was bleeding, and my guitar now has his blood at the back of it. And so, you know, it's got a few. <laughs> it's not very nice, but this happened, um, and uh, I did start questioning whether or not I would do it again. But you know, it, it has happened. A lot of people have played on that guitar. It's got a lot of history, which is, of course, yours does too. It was made before I was born. Yeah. Yeah. So, mate, we're going to hear some music from you. Thank you very much for uh, uh, recording some bits and pieces for us. I'll tell you about that song. It's called last dance i think uh, i only finished it in the last couple of days just before i recorded it in the sense that you know you're fiddling around with um, the odd word here and there and and the way in which you sing some of the lines but uh, uh, i started writing this because as you can tell i am of the older generation i'm a baby boomer and there really aren't many love songs for us when we were young we sang songs about you're fantastic i'll love you forever without having a clue what forever means Mm. Uh, and from my perspective, I'm afraid there's much more of my life that involves looking back than there is looking forward. So it's a song about that and, uh, and it's a song about celebrating the fact that I've been in love with the same woman for basically 50 years. Um, although I can't say it's entirely about me uh, because I don't intend to have a last dance anytime soon. <laughs> well said. Song, and what a wonderful, wonderful story.
the DJ says it's time we left the floor. If we ask for a slow song, that'll make it last longer. Think when our dance is over, we'll waltz out through the door. The dance followed dance, and you still stay. song there by Frank Register. That's really nice, man. Thank you very much. It's a fresh one as Thank well, you. and an exclusive. Absolutely, first time that's ever been heard in public. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And and, and uh, anybody that's just tuned in, there's a song for, as you say, the older generation, where you feel maybe there aren't so many songs. There's a lot of it is about you know, like you say, falling in love and spending the rest of your lives together but actually this is more about uh, sort of looking back which is lovely i think it's a really nice sentiment to a song yeah nice yeah and it's quite interesting i uh, I, I kind of wrote the song in my head you know and then all of a sudden when i started playing it it ended up in three four time and i wasn't expecting that it just kind of happened you know <laughs> <laughs> a bit like a waltz through the song that was quite nice yeah absolutely yeah yeah um, well, you are uh, a great songwriter, um, and I obviously heard your album that you released in, well, obviously we had lockdown in between, so it sort of put on pause, really, but um, the album was called Still, um, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Um, I can see everyone commenting. Thank you very much for the comments, by the way. You're getting some uh, some great love here. Uh, you've got Maz saying hi, so hello to Maz. Hello, Maz. Hello, Maz. Um, I'm and, trying to hold uh, the, try the album up, but I can't locate it. <laughs> um, I've got a still for it actually I'll, I'll show you it with that in a minute oh okay um, and Karen thank you very much for watching she thinks you're sounding great um, and okay. Kathy Robbins and Karen, yeah Karen plays on the album she, ah she, lovely she's, played, she's a great double and she plays on my version of 500 miles which is a bit of a different version if you remember and that one that's on there the still that's album. me in the background as well I know. Look at that. You, you spoke both with pictures with a beard, uh, different coloured beards. Um, I was quite shocked yeah, when I saw that young picture of you. I hadn't, uh, I hadn't ever seen a younger picture of you. But I mean, handsome little chap, aren't you? I'm glad you said, uh, "Aren't you?" rather than "Weren't you?" <laughs> <laughs> 
choice words. Um, and yeah, yeah, like you say, you released that album just before lockdown. You've still got some copies left, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you haven't joined yep. the Spotify yep. race yet, so you're a traditional man. Um, still with the CDs. Or, or just a lazy man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should set that up for you actually. We'll get your music on Spotify. I think we should do that okay. for you. That'd be great. Um, Sound it is on SoundCloud. It is on SoundCloud, so that's good. And and um uh I'm gonna play a song from that album. Um in lockdown, you managed to get out and, and do some performances for Arundel Festival, which of course was had to be done yeah. in lockdown, so all isolated performances um to be streamed out as part of the festival. And uh, you did a, a lovely version of Emily Eludes Me, which is what we're going to play next. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lovely okay, song. Lovely. We'll talk about it after okay. we've heard it, yeah? Hey. my favorite song from the album is it oh that's nice to hear it's quite um yeah on the album of course we've got string quartet and everything with it so it's kind of a oh, full orchestra really there's other things as well aren't they yeah so yeah no i'm really pleased with that song yeah yeah well i know that um greg dean helps you a little bit with the recording on that quite a bit obviously <laughs> he's the more main man little, behind that so he definitely deserves a mention yeah. Um, uh, and obviously I really want people to be able to hear your music. You say it's on SoundCloud, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've got that's, a, a... That's, uh, yeah, that's all the originals off the album on SoundCloud. I, I haven't posted the covers up because obviously there are issues of that. Yeah, sure. Well, obviously people can catch... Uh, uh, but your... anyone who wants the album, they can... They Even better, can, um... why not buy the album? So they need to contact you directly. Yep. Yeah. 
frank.register at btinternet.com. There you go. You can email Frank and you can get a personalised, possibly even signed copy of the oh, album. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've had some comments in, Frank. Uh, obviously, we've got lots of people watching you this evening, which is great. Uh, thank you, Iris, for your comment earlier. I think we popped that one up. Uh, we've got Vanessa, Vanessa Wickens watching. Uh, no. um, she, yeah. she enjoys uh, uh, the, the, the cover of the um 500 miles track which which i played at her her wedding with jason that will she be why she's I particularly played. fond of it then. and it was her that she had to get me when she said i'd like you to play 500 miles as we walked down the aisle and i said what <laughs> and she said uh, as a ballad so i did an arrangement as a very slow ballad uh, and that ended up on the album and that's got my that's got my daughter-in-law playing double bass and my granddaughter summer You've got a daughter, Summer, haven't you? I do. Uh, yes, my yeah. granddaughter, Summer, played piano on it. So, yeah. So that, that, <laughs> so, that's Thanks to Vanessa and Jason. Uh, we've had Maz giving a, a lovely comment there. Uh, she's enjoying it. Kathy Robbins, again, thank you very much for watching. Beautiful song. Um, and uh, Ben Grimm, well done, Dad. Ah, uh, yes, that's Ben. You know Ben, don't you, Marcus? I think we may have met. Yeah, I think I do know him. Um, so thanks again for anybody that's tuning in. Well, you're watching Frank Register this evening. We've just been talking about his album um, and uh, uh, and really your songwriting. It's fantastic. I'm a little bit jealous. Uh, where does it all start? Where does it start? Well, yeah, who knows? Uh, it <laughs> starts with words usually. Uh, uh, I was telling you when we had a chat earlier in the week that uh, Emily eludes me just uh, came to me when I was reading a book and there was the opening sentence of a chapter uh, and I thought wow that sounds like it's a line of a song so I stole it changed it a bit and built a song around it uh, I won't tell you which book I was reading because somebody might get me for plagiarism <laughs> <laughs> well it, I mean that was yeah. the story of yeah. one of the songs you say it normally starts with with words for you generally yeah and um for a lot of songs that um, I try to write the chorus first because that's the key bit. You've got to have a hook to make people listen. So the previous song, Last Dance, I wrote the chorus first and then decided what the song was about. And um, obviously I had my inspiration in Anne too. And, and what's some of the things that uh, have happened to us. And 50 uh, years. Has gone into that. 50 years, 50 years. of memories here to, to, to put into that. I would imagine that wrote itself yeah. once you started. <laughs> well, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Although yeah, there's a lot of selection involved. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say everything. Okay, so um, we're going to move on to the other song that you kindly recorded for us. This is another new song. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I wrote this. I don't know. We, we've been doing a lot of walking in lockdown, as a lot of people have. Um, both that and the last dance. Um, somehow, you know, a phrase uh, came to me and... and, and uh, while you're walking, you've got lots of time to think. So I had this phrase, I, and I have no idea. It could have been a response to something Anne said to me, but um, the phrase, I'll never know if you never tell me, came to me and I thought, hmm, that could be a hook for a chorus. So I did the chorus and then um, worked out what, what the words of the, of the verses and the bridge needed to be about. So yeah, okay. that's how that came. Let's hear it.
How will I know if you never tell me? Whenever I ask, you cool me to climb. I feel in the dark, lost and Probably another exclusive, right? Absolutely. Again, first, first time it's time. been heard in public. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I think they're uh, being appreciated. Uh, that's for sure. I can see people commenting still. So you were going to say? Well, I was just going to say that I, uh, I played that to Anne and she said, is that about me? <laughs> <laughs> Some of the songs you write, you know, are inspired by things that happen to you. Some are downright autobiographical, but... That's kind of like journal. I have to say this, don't I? Um, because our communication is, of course, flawless, as in all relationships. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's have a look at some of these comments. Um, here's a useless fact from Maz. Apparently, Frank used to sing on stage in musicals back in the day. Is that true? Absolutely. Yeah, I've done all kinds of things singing. I've, singing has been a part of my life since I was a kid. Um, my mom was a semi-professional singer. I remember when I was, oh Christ, before my voice broke, singing the chorus to one, the, the first verse to Once in Royal David City uh, at the chapel that my family used to go to. Uh, I had my first band when I was 17, um, various bands. Oh, I've got to tell you this story. At university, I was in a band called Randy and the Rockets, and we were kind of like rock and roll revival. <laughs> and apparently, I'd forgotten this, but one of my mates reminded me, I used to go on stage and say, we're Randy and the Rockets. These are the Rockets, and I'm always Randy. <laughs> Not <people. laughs> I was wondering who was Randy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and um, I had met Anne by this time, and I had a black leather jacket, and she got some red insulation tape and, and wrote the word Randy on the back of it for me. <laughs> well, you started early. Then, First yes, band I, at I, 17 I, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, as I said, uh, in the what would it be the eighties, nineties? Uh, I I did a few uh, musicals with Worthing Operatic Society. Yeah, so I've done me Gilbert and Sullivan. I've even sung Gilbert and Sullivan in Portuguese when I was a, when I went to Brazil after I left university. Do you speak Crazy. Spanish? I no por Portuguese. Uh, I learned right. Portuguese. But I for I've forgotten most of it now. Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, it just uh, shows my um, ignorance there. It was me thinking they spoke Spanish. Um, okay, so um, 
I see that uh, Jason Wickens is still watching. Uh, great to hear your music. And obviously these are fresh off the press um, and uh, the first time you, anybody's ever heard it. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, we've also got uh, people talking about the wedding that obviously um, you were involved in. Um, and uh, another comment there from, from Jason Wickens. Beautiful. <laughs> and um, I'd imagine Maz, I mean, I've seen some pictures of Maz. I know she's watching um, in, in sort of uh, leggings and whatnot. I don't know if she was a dancer yes. or, or a singer. Uh, can I just say she hasn't changed the bit? <laughs> well, thanks uh, very much. <laughs> well, mate, you know, it's been uh, a lovely um, to have you on. Uh, this evening thank you very much for joining us I know everybody that's been watching has really enjoyed it too um, we're going to um, have a word uh, with Joe next let's uh, bring him in can I can I just say Joe's a friend of mine um, and it's a great um, honour to be his warm up act <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're actually it is a great honour for you and you're welcome yeah, I mean um, I, 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 I humbly I put all the brown ones back in your rider, actually. <laughs> uh, well, you two obviously do know each other and have performed on many a stage, probably an, an occasion, an event uh, together too. Um, mm -hmm. So it's quite a nice little link. Um, yeah, perfect. We do some mean duets together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, um, this is obviously now um, going to change over to Joe because of course, he's been busy streaming, hasn't he? He has, he has. He's a busy boy. Uh, prolific. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, thank you very much, Frank. Cheers, yeah, Frank. Cheers. 